Welcome back everybody, Robert with Occupancy Boost. There's a lot of property owners out there that do not have a property management system, so they have to update their rates and inventory directly from the Booking.com extranet. Booking.com provides a Pulse app for mobile users to update all of their inventory and make changes to their properties. In today's video, I'm gonna go into the Pulse app on my cell phone. I'm gonna show you guys how to update rates, how to update inventory, and how to open and close rooms. Stay tuned, I'm gonna switch screens and show you guys how to get this done. Okay, to change rates and availability for your property, you're gonna go down to the availability button, which is in the middle of the screen at the bottom. And I've circled that for you. And a little bit about this property, you can see they've got five room types here. Uh, and the first, the top two room types, I'm not gonna do anything with those. Those are old room types that I'm gonna get rid of here pretty soon. Um, I've kind of just started working with this property, so I'm getting rid of those room types. And I'm actually rebuilding their inventory. So we're gonna focus on these three rooms here, the Smoking King, Non-Smoking King, and Jacuzzi Suite. And what I need to do, I need to go in and I need to change rates for January 21st through the 25th, which is right in this area right here. As you can see, if you need to do a different month, you, just, you can just scroll over with your arrow right there. But for now, we're just going to focus on January 21st through 25th. And <clears throat> the green shaded areas, those are dates where, you have, where I have rooms open. So there's rooms open over those dates. And the, date, the dates that you see that are shaded in pink, those are dates where inventory is closed. For this property, they get a lot of weekend business. So we close the inventory for their king rooms on Fridays and Saturdays. And we just have, for the moment, we just have inventory open on uh, the weekdays. So that's why those weekdays are shaded in green. For that jacuzzi suite at the bottom, there's only one jacuzzi suite in the hotel, and we currently do not have inventory open in January for that jacuzzi suite yet because um, it is occupied for the, month, for the month of January. So I'm just going to focus on the 21st to the 25th for now. So when you click on this room type here, the Smoking King, um, you, you, I'm going to... It opens it up to, a, to the, a bigger screen like you see here. So I'm going to start with the 21st and I'm just going to go over to the 20 and I'm going to tap on the 25th and that gives you the whole week. If, and if I need to backtrack out of all, let's say I decide that I only want to do the 21st to the 23rd, I would press my thumb on the, on the 23rd and then I have to go back and erase the 24th and the 25th and then press the 23rd again and it gives me that week. But for now, we're actually focusing on the 25th. So I'm gonna press back on the 25th. So we're doing Sunday through Thursday. And <clears throat> it shows you how many rooms it, uh, are available right now at the, at the property. And scroll down here, it shows you which rate plans. I only have one rate plan loaded for this property. It's a standard rate plan. You can load additional rate plans like non-refundable and uh, weekly stays. And I'm going to probably do a weekly stay rate plan in the future. I did a video on rate plans. So if you're not sure how to build different rate plans in Booking.com, I suggest you watch that video. I've got a link in the description and I'm showing you right now what, uh, what that video uh, thumbnail looks like. So you can find that in YouTube, but I've got in the in I've got a link for that video in the description. That's a good video to watch because if you want to set up non-refundable rates for your property or your short-term short rental, um, my video will guide you how to do that. I actually show a live example. So <clears throat> going back up here, if I want to change the inventory, I'm going to bring it down to two rooms um, for for those dates. You just press on the minus button right here and it brings it down to two. Okay, and if I want to change the rates over those dates, uh, I don't want to do it, but I would just go down to where this 74 is because we have a $74 rate loaded and I would press my thumb on there and then backtrack on my, um, my keyboard. And let's say I want to bring it down to 69, I can change it to 69. And I just arrow down and that's good. Now, one other thing you can do here, which is real nice, is you can change the minimum length of stay. 
So if I want to make these days, which I don't know why you would, but just showing you for example, if I want to make these days, like I want to add a two night minimum length to stay onto all those days, that means that when somebody checks in, they got to stay for at least two nights. It will not accept a one night stay. So if somebody's on uh, booking.com, Com shopping and they only want a one night stay over that week. It's not going to the hotel's not going to show up. It's only going to show up for people that want a, a two night stay or longer. So I'm going to change that back to one. And it tells you at the bottom I've selected five nights. And going back up here, yes, that's correct. I I selected January 21st through 25th, which is five nights. And then I would just hit the save. Okay, good enough. It tells you right there that the, your change to five nights has been saved. And I just go back. Now, if I want to go back in there and change it back, I just press on the, the, the room type again. I press on the 21st and I go to the 25th. And it shows that I have only have two rooms available over those dates. I would just go back in and press the, the plus button for three um, and, and bring it back to where I had it before. Now, the other thing I can do, too, is I can open or close. It doesn't matter if I have inventory loaded or it doesn't matter if I have a rate loaded, like I have 69 loaded here. So if I want to uh, close these dates all together, I would just press on that close um, tab right there, that circle, and I would hit save. Okay, and you can see those dates change to pink. And if I want to open them back up, which I do want them open, I would open them hit the open circle and hit save. And they go back to green, meaning that I have inventory available. Now I wanna change this, these dates back. I wanna have three rooms available on each of those days. I would just press that plus key to give it three rooms. And let's say I wanna change my rate back to 74. I just press on that, uh, the rate down there, the price, um, change it back to 74 and hit save. And I'm good. So I'm back to where I started. Now, if I get in here and I look at it and I decide, you know what? Um, on the 21st on Sunday, I don't want to take any one night stays. And I want to actually change the rate to $69 on that. So I'm going to do like a two night minimum length of stay. And I'm going to change the rate to $69. You would just press on the room type again. And you would press the, um, the day, the 21st. And... I can um, scroll down here. I'm gonna change the rate to $69. And I'm actually gonna put a two night minimum length of stay in there. So I change that to two. And it tells you at the bottom that I've selected one night, which is right, I, check, I selected Sunday, January 21st. And then I hit the save. Okay, everything's been saved. So when I go back and look at that, um, it's not going to show you anything different with that two night stay on your screen there, but it's, uh, it's in green. It's open. If you want to look at it again, you just press on the room type and I can click on that 21st and double check my work. And yes, it's $69 and yes, it's a two day minimum length of stay. So I'm actually going to change that back because I don't want that. <laughs> I was just showing you guys, for example, and I change it back to 74 and hit the save button. And we're good. So my inventory is set back to where it was before and my rates. So that's one thing I want to show you guys here, too, is that jacuzzi suite that you see at the bottom of the screen. If I want to open up a room on any particular day for that juicy jacuzzi suite, I just press on um, I press my my thumb or finger on that room type. And let's say on the 26th of January on Friday that we want to open up that jacuzzi suite. So I would just press on that date and as you can see at the bottom here that that the whole jacuzzi suite room type is in pink there's no inventory available over those dates as you, if I scroll down here you can see that I have zero rooms available but I do have the booking status is open so that room type is open but I have zero rooms available so there's a couple different ways the reason I wanted to show you guys this is there's a couple different ways to have your property open and close. You can either put your available rooms to zero or you can just press the close button right there and close out the property. So even if you close, even if you have rooms available here, like let's say I open up one room and I close that, I, clo I have the close button on that room type and I hit save, it's still gonna show up 
Um, let me show you what that looks like. It's still going to show up in pink on the 26. In order to have that open, even though I've got the room available, you have to have the open button. So if you've got this room type closed and you add inventory, that's not going to be enough. You have to have the open button on too. So I've clicked the open button there. I've got the room available and I need to put a price in there because there's no price. As you can see this price column down here, there's nothing loaded. So I need to load, let's say we, we're going to load that, let's say $149, okay? And we hit save. Now, if you go back up there and take a look, the, t the date of the 26 is in green. And it shows, obviously, it's open, there's one room available, and the rate is 149 So I, I wanted to point that out to you and kind of show you guys what that open and close status will do for you. So that's it. Uh, pretty simple to do. That's how you change your rates in the Pulse app. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please feel free to click the subscribe button. And I've got a lot more videos coming out. And I've done a lot of video videos in the past on the OTA channels, especially Booking.com, because I get a lot of requests for Booking.com extranet uh, help. And please like this video. And if you do like it, share it with your friends. And stay tuned. I'll be back with more in the future. Thank you.